Would you want a surgeon to use a scalpel that has bacteria growing on it? Of course not. Surgical instruments must be sterilized. That means no living organisms are present. There are lots of products that need to be sterilized. Pharmaceuticals, equipment, solutions, medical waste, even tattoo needles. If bacteria, fungi, or viruses are present, the result could be deadly. So how do we sterilize materials in the lab? We use a device called an autoclave. Basically, an autoclave is a powerful pressure cooker that uses heat, steam, and pressure to destroy microorganisms. First, we'll sterilize a solution using the slow exhaust cycle, and second, we'll sterilize some empty bottles using fast exhaust. We need to sterilize this flask containing an agar bacterial media. Cover the top with foil and place a piece of autoclave tape over the foil. Autoclave tape looks like regular masking tape, the difference is that it has a special ink that causes black diagonal lines to appear when exposed to high temperature. Turn on the power and make sure the drain valve is closed. Add deionized water to the level indicator line. Place the flask of culture media into the basket. Insert the basket, close the lid, and turn the handle to create an airtight seal. Use the control panel to set the mode to sterilize, the temperature to 121 degrees Celsius, and the pressure to 15 PSI. The slow exhaust mode prevents the liquid from boiling over and out of the flask. Run the autoclave for at least 15 minutes. While it's running, enter the date and time and the operation details in the log and initial. Once the cycle ends and the pressure gauge reads zero PSI, slowly open the door wearing heat-resistant gloves. The black lines are visible on the autoclave tape indicating that the proper temperature was reached. Once the culture media has cooled to about 45 degrees Celsius, it's ready to be poured into petri dishes. Now let's run a second autoclave cycle, this time using the fast exhaust to sterilize some empty bottles. Tighten the cap, but then loosen it about halfway. Place the autoclave tape over the lid and put the bottles into the basket. Set the autoclave to 121 degrees Celsius, 15 PSI, and a 20-minute runtime. Select the fast exhaust mode. Complete and initial the log. Once the cycle ends and the pressure gauge reads zero PSI, slowly open the door and remove the basket. The black lines are visible on the tape, indicating that the proper temperature was reached. The autoclave is now ready for another run. Remember, slow exhaust is for liquids and medical waste. Fast exhaust is for empty glassware and instruments. Now you're ready to go to the lab and use an autoclave.